welcome to my channel in this video i going to show you how to create helper functions and how you can use it in across the project why we need helper functions as you know lots of functions provided by core php and we already using but still we need to write some custom functions as well as we need to write same piece of code at multiple place so as a best practice we should convert that line of code into the one global function and use everywhere and that function should be write in helper so you can access that function across the project without creating an instance for call that method or function so let's take example how you can create helper functions and how you can use it this is my laravel project and i logged in already and right now you can see here only first name showing and from the one blade file let me show you first the the on not on but app and you can see auth user first name and if i want to show here last name as well then i just need to write like that last name and i need to do everywhere where i want to show full name of login user you can see so what i going to do here i convert this line of code into the one function and so login name like that and use everywhere so no need to write this thing duplicate everywhere so first of all i going to create one file it's called helper.php inside the app directory so let's create php file and give name helper dot php and in this file i going to create export and going to write function and function name is login login user full name and just copy this code and just put here and let's import that class so then write and then just return to import proper class not just use what not this one but this next thing is we need to register this helper.php into the composer.json file so we can use this helper.php across the project so let's open composer.json and uh, you need to write this helper.php file inside this auto load object you need to specify files and then you need to specify array and inside the array you need to specify path of the file app slash helpers dot php and save and then you can use this file anywhere so i going to specify this function now here and when you click 
let's lock it here also we need to check if user is authenticated then we need to return this name otherwise empty so here i going to check auth and you can check so this check method check user is authenticated or not and you can by default return empty here so this function not block any more i going to specify type string because now as you know in latest version of psp we can specify type so i'm going to specify type here and now let's see call to undefined function login user full name so let's dump auto load maybe we need to fire this command composer dump so this command optimize all the files and maybe after this command we need to refresh and yeah you can see it's working fine so you can create any helper function inside this file and you can use um, any of the blade file any of the php file any controller service across the project like as a one core php function so you can create uh, and use in your laravel application thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel